17 people dressed as angels standing by a makeshift memorial greeted students returning to Stoneman Douglas High School almost two weeks since the shooting that took 17 lives. The students were allowed back onto campus yesterday for the first time to pick up backpacks and other belongings left behind. Coming back here is hard. I lost some of my friends. The three-story building where the shooting took place has been cordoned off. The rest of the school will reopen for classes Wednesday. Some parents, though, say they'll struggle with the drop-off. I was here to pick him up that day. It was uh, the longest eight hours of my life, and I'm, uh, I'm not ready to let him go yet. On Capitol Hill, the debate over gun control looks to rev up this week. Yesterday morning, an NRA spokesperson pushed back against some suggestions President Trump made last week, like raising the age limit to buy certain weapons. The NRA well, has made their position clear. Well, so, but let me just say mm -hmm. the position is you do not want to raise the age. That's what the NRA came out and said. The president, who will meet with the nation's governors today on a variety of issues, says gun control will be at the top of the agenda. We'll be talking about Parkland and, and the horrible event that took place last week. Congress, back in session today after 10 days off, is also under pressure to revisit gun legislation. Hannah Doba, CBS 2 News. Now, President Trump, who has recently promised to push for tightening background checks, has also said he supports arming certain teachers and other faculty inside schools.